what's up everybody, Sam here. Today, we are comparing the video performance of the Xiaomi 40 Ultra, Oppo Find X7 Ultra, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This is undoubtedly the most detailed comparison among the three, which could be really useful for those wondering about them. So please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. First, let's dive into the interface. Starting with the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, I think it's probably the simplest among the three. It supports full focal range 4K60 shooting and even HDR at 4K60, but only for one time and three time zoom. The maximum slow motion supported by the X7 Ultra is 1080p 240 FPS, and the front video supports a maximum of 4K 60 FPS. That's basically the video features of the Find X7 Ultra. As for the Galaxy S24 Ultra, it also supports full focal range, 4K6 shooting, and up to 8K 30 FPS recorded from one time to five time zoom. It offers an auto frame feature, which is great for keeping subjects centered. It has a pro video option, but no lock feature is provided. What I like most is the portrait video, which offers a cool bokeh effect that looks really natural and cinematic. When compared with the other two, you'll notice the Oppo sometimes has problems with its edges, as seen in my head part, and Xiaomi tends to overexpose, making skin tones look terrible. Additionally, it offers different features. For others, it supports up to 4K 120fps recording. On the other hand, Xiaomi 14 Ultra is probably the most feature-rich. It also supports full focal range 4K 6 shooting and up to 4K 3rd HDR video and up to 8K recording. Furthermore, it supports 4K 120fps. Similar to the S24 Ultra, we can scale down 4 times to 4K 30fps for slow motion. Speaking of slow motion, you won't believe what it's capable of. It supports up to 1080p, 1920 FPS recording. It's like time and space are frozen. But you have to notice, for each 1080p, 1920 FPS, it can only record 10 seconds, so be aware of that. Beyond that, there is the auto tracking shot, which offers two mouse, auto zoom, and a smart composition. It's pretty cool, right? What I really like is the motion tracking focus, which is the best among the three. Even if I move my head crazily, it doesn't lose focus. Check it out. For this phone camera enthusiasts, the best part is probably in the Pro mode. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra supports 4K lock shooting, which gives lots of room for post editing, and there are some lock footages if you're interested. What's up? That's basically the interface of the three. Now, let's test the footage. First, let's talk about the focus and speed. In many scenarios, all three perform great, fast and smooth, but in some situations, Xiaomi 4 Ultra simply be slow, sometimes failing to focus, like when I put my arm in front of it, or when I walk by. It didn't even attempt to focus, unlike the other two, which react quickly. Now onto the steels. To be honest, I cannot decide who performed better or worse because all three performed excellently. I compared them at different focal lengths and the color render was very good with the nicely controlled white balance and pleasant skin tones. Just 
four times. Three times, 3.2 on Xiaomi. Five times. Speaking of different focal lengths, let's compare the zoom test as many have been asking for it. So the first is Oppo Find XM Archer. One time, two, four, six, ten. Just a second. So this is ten. Okay, I need to move a little bit like this. Ten. Eighteen times. Okay, so this is eighteen times. Maximum. Maximum on the Oppo, and then we go Xiaomi 14 Ultra. One, one, 1.5, two, 3.2, you see the difference. 3.2, five, 5.1, point ten, and 15 times. So this is the 15 times on Xiaomi versus 18 times on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. Okay, and then we go to Oppo. Now we go to Samsung. 2.3, Okay, 10, 16, 18, and 20 times. Wow! To be honest, I don't even need to see this on computer. I know. The Samsung wins, right? Galaxy S24 to look way better. Zoom test at night. So this is the ultra wide on these three phones. Ultra wide? Oh, I don't know. You can tell me like which one is better. It's like Oppo has the best. You can check out this part. Oppo is, is at least you can see some colors there. Xiaomi got the totem bone out. Same for the S24 Archer. And then one time. Okay, for this part, Xiaomi is still the worst. Okay, and Vivo, no, no. Oppo seems the same as uh, S24 Archer like the best seems like two times okay this is three times so we have to adjust it two times okay now two times seems like s24 Ultra the best without doubt and if we turn around a little bit yeah show me is like totally You see? Yeah, for this one, like, it's 24 hours, it's like, the best. Okay, two times, three times. Three times. Okay, three times. But, you know, the... Let's switch 3.2. And Xiaomi, be Xiaomi supposed to take 3.2 originally. This five times, five times. Okay, seems show me catches up. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I just caught a cold recently. Okay, and then if we switch to six times, you see six times. Wow. Okay, 10 times. Let's just switch to 10 times. 10 times. Okay, 10 times. Let's switch to the map. 18 times on Oppo. Fifteen times. Xiaomi. Mm -hmm. Galaxy 
We will put it like Now, under the feature I care about the most, stabilization. Regarding the default stabilization for 4K60 video from the main camera, Xiaomi is shaking like it just took some drugs. Oppo is better, but S24 Ultra is undoubtedly the best among the three. So stable and smooth, just like shooting with the phone gimbal. This is also true for night videos. Xiaomi's 4 Ultra motion blur makes me dizzy. And check out the blue, it's totally blown out. If I switch on the actual steady feature, I can see Xiaomi 4 Neo has become less shaky, looks much better, but I think it's still the worst, M3 for its subtle breathing effect, or what you call the jello effect, which is very subtle but noticeable if you look closely. To be honest, I always suggest using default stabilization, it's good enough to handle everything. As for selfies, all three support 4K 60fps to mess up all three of great performance, but if I have to choose the best, then obviously the S24 Ultra has the most stable performance and dynamic range. This is especially true for night selfie videos. The motion blur on the Oppo and Xiaomi looks terrible. So if you're shooting at night, it's better to use a phone gimbal. Well, in conclusion, if you ask for the three Ultra phones, who wins? Well, the Oppo Find X7 Ultra impresses with its simplicity and support for features like HDR. I guess the S24 Ultra outperforms the other two for its more stable performance in different scenarios. The stabilization is crazy good. 4K 120p is awesome for those who want to upgrade their video game. Well, for the Xiaomi 40 Ultra, it offers so many pro features like 1080, 1920 FPS slow motion. Log feature, motion tracking focus, making it one of the side cameras I use for my video production. Ultimately, the choice between these flagship smartphones depends on individual preferences and priorities, with each offering a compelling set of features for users seeking top-tier video performance. Thanks for watching, I'm Sammy, and see you in the next video.